Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show how to add a, in the description of a property, so here's a property listing that we currently have, how to add a picture that links to a video. So one of the problems with Bittrex is that we are unable to just post an embed code, like the embed codes that YouTube generates. They don't work in Bittrex for some reason. So instead, we have to get a screenshot of a YouTube video, and then we have to upload that into the Bittrex drive. And then we have to get the link for that image. And then we need to put that image into our description, property description. And then we need to add a link to that image that will uh, take the, the person who clicks on the image to the YouTube video. So like if I click on this YouTube video, it will open up in a new tab, show YouTube video. Okay, so the first step is to pull up the YouTube video. And from here, um, I'm just going to use snipping tool. And I'm going to do a screenshot capture, or I'm just going to um, copy that image. So I've already done that here with the snipping tool. Just click on new, and then you do this, grab the area that makes up the video, and then you save it. So save as, and I'm going to save this as video link. In this case, you can save it as whatever you want on your computer. Okay, so I have my saved image. Now the next step is to upload the image. So for that, I'm going to add a new folder. I'm going to name the folder after the property. And well, I'm not gonna worry about sharing this. You can share the folder if you're gonna put more than this one picture in it. I'm only gonna put this picture in it, it's not really a huge. So there we go. We drag the newly copied uh, picture of the YouTube video in, and there it is. All right, so what we want to do is share. So sharing. So this public link, let's copy this. And here. Okay, I don't want a link lifetime on this one, so we'll cover, we don't want to cover. Okay, so now what I will do is I will open a new tab, paste that link. There we go. And then you can also check by doing um, a private tab or use a different browser if you're not logged into Bitrix on just to make sure it's publicly available. So I know this is publicly available. And then if I click on the picture, it'll open up the picture itself. And I can copy this link. Or you can also just right click and say copy link address. So now we have this screenshot of the YouTube video in our drive. It's publicly available, and we've copied the link to this image. So we're going to go to our commercial catalog. We're going to find property that we're working on. And we're going to go to the description area. And we're going to make sure we're looking at this with the visual editor, which just makes it a lot easier to work with. So I'm going to scroll down to where I want to add this video stuff. And just to make things easier, um, I've opened up another one where we've already done this. So. Uh, Copy this code. 
And I'm going to go here. And if I scroll down, range, all the way up here. Paste that in. So as you can see, we have the YouTube video. And the reason why I copied this code is because I want to add this where it says target blank into the YouTube link. What the target blank does is it will open a new uh, new window or a new tab in the person's browser. We don't leave our site. And then also where the image is, it specifies the size. So it says 480 by 270. Okay. Now, what we need to do is this link right here, replace with a link of this file that we have saved in our drive. So, oops. Um, so I'm going to copy this and then okay, so now we have that. And I need to copy the YouTube link and put the new YouTube link. Now, if we wanted to try doing that again, but uh, in here, what we would do is we would click image, pull that up. So we copy the image link again. Make sure you link to the just the image. So you either link to where the browser has only the image, or you right click and you say uh, copy image address. And so image source, like that. All right, and it pulls up the image, so that way we can see it. And then we can specify the size, so we only want it to be 480 pixels. Oops, 480 pixels wide. And then we will call this video link. And we'll create a link to this YouTube video. See, we've created our own down here. A second. If you look at the code, what we would want to do is add in space, target, and then equals, and then quotes, underline, blank, end quotes. Okay, what that will do is it will open this YouTube link in a new tab. And we've already set the image size. So this one's actually better because the image size is uh, not going to be distorted. The first one we made, we'll see the image height is 270. Here, the height to width ratio is locked. So it's actually 480 wide by 268. So that looks good. Let's do this. Let's delete and copy it over. And there we go. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty good. All right, we'll apply. And then we'll check on the website to make sure that link looks good. So if we go to the property, it's this property. Scroll down. There's the link, the video, picture. Opens the right video. So perfect. That's it. Um, and then once you're done, you can just click save and it will close this window. And uh, now you have created a nice video link in the property description. Um, I think it's probably better to have this up a little higher, maybe above, uh, maybe not necessarily above everything, but maybe above um, some of the details here. So I might I copy and paste this up a little higher. But there you have it. Um, it's basically the same process to create a map. 
The only difference is you would copy a picture of the map. Uh, so um, I've created a map for this property. Maps. Here, what we do is just new map. And then I can save this picture. And I'll just do the exact same thing. So I'll go to my drive and I'll be in the folder for the property and I'll just paste that map link in. Okay. And here, share a link like this, save, and then back into the property description. Active map of the property. And let's see, great. And I'll insert the picture. So link and be careful because you scroll over those numbers and it changes Okay, now remember what we did up here where we wrote space target equals underscore blank. Well, we're going to do the same thing with this link after the quotes at the end of the link. We're going to put target blank. Why? Now, if I go to my property details and refresh, ah. There's the map link. If I click on it, it should open the map. Perfect. There you have it. Uh, we just did the map and the video link, and both look pretty good. All right. Save, close it out.